everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute St. Patrick's Day uh, hair clips. So this is what it looks like and it's a shaker one where it's got the little bits and details inside. And this is what the back looks like. This is the front and from the same die using the inserts of this you can also make a cute little St. Patrick's Day four leaf clover snap clip. And we're going to be using the big shot machine to do this so just bear with me. Move everything out of the way. So I do have my big shot machine here and I've also got all of my bits and pieces so I've got my shaker bits here and all my other little accessories on the side and I've also got my die and my extender plates from here which is my long extender plates because it's a longer die and this is my die and this is a cutout die from Aliexpress and it's got the four leaf clover, bunny, easter egg and a heart. So it's perfect for sort of St. Patrick's Day, Easter and Valentine's Day depending on what you're doing and what you're looking at. And like I said we're going to be using the four leaf clover option today. And we need to be using this part and also the cutout part to do this. So I will show you. Let's see if I can get this in shot. It is balanced. this a little bit out of the way right. so to organize this you'll need a clear or transparent piece of material uh, I'll put where I got mine from uh, in the description box below and some felt now for the bottom layer is felt Obviously your shaker piece is the piece here, so that will be the cover for the shaker piece. And then you'll also need the colour that you want your glitter outside to be. So I'm choosing this one. Now I tend to layer these three together so I can see exactly what is happening. So, let's just see. so you need the clear and uh, vel velvet layer on your cutout because you need the back layer of the... the the felt and then you clear cut out and then on this one you need your outline on the outline version now you can make them a touch smaller I always use slightly more fabric on me it's purely because I have dyspraxia so my like ability for depth perception and things like that is a bit iffy at times and I can sort of move things around and have things shift I'm also going to put an extra piece of felt on the cut out so that we can do an inner one as well and then what you do is you take your plates which is these for your big shop and you place that you die in between your plates now if your plates are completely battered and you can see the cutouts of previous cuts or even if they're bowing it's absolutely fine it's only when they actually start to completely crack that you would need to consider replacing them but as you can see all in there ready to go I'm going to put this through the big shot machine now. So. And I am a terror for like leaving my big shot for a long time between uses, so mine always looks absolutely battered. So there we go. Just move it a bit further down so it can go all the way through with the longer plates. take these off and I'll show you all of the shapes. Let's take them all off the die. Be careful with your cut out because that tends to be the most delicate and as you can see it did slip a little bit but it's fine because we've got that extra bit of material just in case that happened in the first place. Okay so we're going to keep all of our main parts and we're going to take all of our waste away. Now if you wanted to you could use this but obviously it's entirely up to you. The more the more scrap pieces that you use the better off, off you are and obviously the less material that you waste overall. But like I said, that is about that much waste. Like I said you could do it a little bit smaller but like I said this is just to give you a little bit of breathing room in case it slips or moves as it's going through the big shot. Okay, so let's move these two out of the way. 
and these are the bits that we are now left with so you've got the cut out felt and you've got the smaller four leaf clovers from the center and what you want is this back piece and felt you shake a bit here and your outline now the first thing you want to do is attach your shaker piece to your clear piece okay now this is the trickiest part because you want to do as minimal glue as possible so you don't get any stains or marks on your clear transparent piece but you still want it to look nice and not to make any like smudges or marks now i have this new glue which is industrial uh, super glue called uh, Gplee and it's uh, the Everbuild brand and it literally sticks anything to anything it literally gives you all the different services that it attaches to this is really really good glue and while it's holding in place I like to use a few of these flattened curl pins which just hold it while it's um, all holding together and gluing as it should do so that is the clear piece and that is this so I'm just going to put a teeny bit of glue all the way around here and as you can see I don't even sort of touch it I just do like a little light make sure you get all the edges though and like I said you just want the lightest layer you don't want masses because you don't want it to seep away from this bit and like I said completely stain that clear bit because like I said it still it can still go cloudy look really gross if you don't pay attention and use too much and try not to be me and try not to super glue yourself to your desk or glue any bits and pieces if you do nail polish remover or um white spirits does unglue you just so you're aware yes i have done things like that myself so now i've got a thin layer what i do instead of pressing myself to anything i press the clear bit to it but be careful because you want to line this up really really well and press that down nice and firmly without actually touching the glue or the clear bit yourself so you don't stick to anything now we've got our shake bit so this is the cover and this is the base so now we've got some fillable pieces and we're going to pour these in here and i brought a pack of these it's like table confetti and it was like st patrick day table confetti i've got a huge bag it cost me like five pound but it will last me for the next like five ten years so work how many you want to actually be in here but put enough so you've got some movement etc things like that and the same with the glue again you want to do it a really really thin layer and instead of doing it on the felt because the felt will absorb more again what we want to do is using this original area as a guide you want to do a super super thin layer around that guide that we've got on here and again don't go overboard i like this one because it's got like a really tiny hole and it doesn't like pour too much out at once but don't go outside of this outline of the shaker okay but make sure you've got all the shaker areas covered so you haven't got any gaps in your seal okay just follow it around all the way back to the top now i take my fingers underneath so i can lift this up and what you want to do is turn it over without touching that glue i'm just going to push that more down so it doesn't get in the way of where we're sticking and then line it up with that base layer and place that on and then again use your hand a bit of pressure and you can place it on don't forget to put your super glue back in okay and if you have got any like any extra bits around because you've gone a little bit out of uh, your border you can trim this down just with a standard pair of scissors or alternatively 
you can take your lighter and it sort of slightly melts down the um, excess or like I said you can trim whichever's easier for you that makes it look nice and neat and tidy just trim this edge as well that's all nicely trimmed and like I said while I'm holding it in place I just put a couple of clips across there to hold it all in place and then the very last thing that we're going to do is you get a felt circle and again I just want it a little bit smaller than the back of this so I'll just cut this one down just a little bit It's a little bit of a better fit or you could do another back piece depending on what you would do prefer and then we take this and we're just going to cut two little slots across here take our alligator clip and pop that across there so you get this and then we're going to put a bit of glue here tack flip that over a little bit of glue there that there and check which way around we want our shaker so we want it to go this way a bit of glue on the back of our circle and then we can glue this to our centre and then there you go you've got a, a nice shaker now if you give it a second once it's all dried you can sort of tap this into the all the areas of it and obviously you get the more shake movement I'm trying to do it on camera as you can see. So it does move like I said once it's set but like I said I'll just give it a little bit of time until it's completely and you make sure you've got no holes or anything in your seal. So I'm just going to put those on while we wait for that to fully set. And in the meantime, like I said, if you've got these bits, you've got your felt bit, you've got your centerpiece that you had earlier, and I've got a larger snap clip here. All we're going to do is I'm going to put a bit of glue gun glue here on our clip and on the back of here. I can't really want the placement. Okay, so we're going to have it there. And then we're just going to put some more glue gun glue around the edges and on the back of that snap clip. Tiny layer down the stem. And then we're going to take this one, make sure it lines up and your tail is in the right way. Line that all up and press down. And again, if you've got any little bits that are coming around the sides, you can either trim down, as I said. Or alternatively, take your lighter. And as you can see, it sort of minimises the felt. There you go. Just there. Have to be careful because it does get a little bit crispy around the edges, as you can see. But it adds a bit to this one for like your four-leaf clover look. So you've got like little snap clips with your centerpieces that you can do. And like I said, you've got a couple of different options. You can always always use these as centers instead, like I said, and then you can use these as hair clips and all different ones. Like I said, you just have to be really, really careful with your shaker glue around the edges so you don't get any cloudiness in your transparent bit for the shaker center thanks for watching bye